Hello everyone and welcome back to Autonauts, where in the last episode we set up this whole area, or rather got it uh, dug up automatically. We used our terraformer team to take care of all of this. However, there's still a fair bit of work to, to do. Specifically, we need to teach our terraformer team three new tasks. One, how to clear up grass. Well, actually, probably four. One, how to clear up mushrooms, because we already know how uh, to clear those up and that they will inevitably be in a space that we want them not to be. Uh, also, how to remove bushes. So that's another one. I, I guess I should be saying one, how to cut grass. Two, how to cut mushrooms. Three, how to cut bushes. For that to be a, a little bit more clear, I was just sort of thinking it's a single task. One task to, to clear bushes. One task to clear grass. But the fourth task will be to chop down trees so that our terraformers, when set to a task, can completely strip an area of anything that uh, is built, any structures. They won't clean the area up, unfortunately. That is something that perhaps we can set up in the future. But the first thing we're going to want to do then is to get our forestry team to stop doing what they're doing. Hey, forestry team, come along over here if you wouldn't mind. Please and thank you. Uh, cheers. Now, our haulers will continue hauling, which uh, I'm completely okay with them doing. Now, for our... Uh, digging commands. Now, honestly, I do not feel that we're going to need a lot of bots for this. Uh, certainly not uh, not advanced bots to deal with just chopping down grass or, or chopping down um, bushes and the like. Let's start on the bushes, though, and the mushrooms and the trees, since these are all very, very simple tasks for us to do. Now, uh, I have received lots of advice on the way that I can better automate this system. Now, ultimately, I'm building towards a goal, and that is once we've got a, uh, a bot shed, we can use that as the as the output uh, check. So until the bot shed is full, make more bots. But there were some really, really good tips, and I do want to cover them even if I'm not going to be employing them just now. One of them was to use seeds in here instead of sticks. That way I could count how many seeds, because we need one seed per basic bot made, I could simply count how many basic bots I wanted, put that many seeds in here, and have my bots take from here instead of over there. So they've got a limited amount of bots that they can manufacture. Another one is to simply give the bots a command. Um, instead of a forever loop outside of the, the command structure, I just give them a uh, just a command to do it once, do one times, or just not have the forever loop uh, at all, and it would achieve the same effect. Though, if I wanted to, I could set it to do five times if I knew I wanted five bots, so on, so forth. Um, and those are pretty, pretty solid suggestions, honestly. Right then, we need to know who we're dealing with. What an auspicious name, Dapamus Prime has joined the colony. Hello, Davinus Prime. Let's get you into the Terraformer group. Uh, I almost said Terraformer Guild. It may as well be. Perhaps these are robot... Oh, this is fantastic. They're, they're becoming civilized. Their civilization is, is, is climbing to new heights, which is awful for the humans, but uh, amazing for them. I'm, I'm actually kind of proud. Uh, right, so we want to teach you how to get rid of bushes first and foremost. We've got another bot already. I'm going to go ahead and take this stick out now because uh, I only want three. But Dapamus Prime, let's get you taught first and foremost. In fact, oh, well, actually, no, we don't have anyone taught to remove bushes, which is a, an interesting one. We never needed to. Okay, well, for now then, let's go and grab a spade, shall we? Uh, that will be your first task. Go grab a spade when you don't already have one. And then, until hands empty, I would like you to go and dig up any bushes that you see. Nice and simple. Eventually, we'll have some bots who are responsible for, for digging up... Uh, oh, sorry, for, for collecting anything that could be on the floor. But that won't be in this particular group, I don't think. There we go. Let's pop that in there. And I would like you to use the structure of the terraforming in progress for this one. There we go. And that should be all you'll ever need to do. And then uh, just do that forever. There you go, Dapamus Prime. Enjoy. Uh, for now, though. Uh, we probably don't need you, really, but uh, I'll leave you there, since uh, there's no reason not to have you turned on. Uh, next up, we want a new bot. Let's go and grab you. Let's uh, pop you over here for now. Pop. Uh, have you... Hmm, that one was prime. Have you actually grabbed anything? Until hands are empty. Yes. Oh, I didn't turn you on. My bad. <laughs> I was wondering why you didn't have spade yet. 
there's going to be one created for you soon, uh, rather than later, don't you worry. Right, so who have we got here then? Kadaj has joined the colony. Thank you very much for the comment, Kadaj. And the same to you, Davimus Prime, as well. Let's get you both in the terraforming guild. Now, your job will be, should you choose to accept it, uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm about to try and nick it. No, I got there too late. Damn it. Most vexing. Well, okay, I guess we're going to be waiting then. I'm starting to feel the uh, the frustration of only having one tool at a time. I think uh, I already know something else that we're going to be automating in this episode. I think we're going to uh, increase the automation there. We may actually upgrade some of these bots to tier two bots, uh, or rather mark two bots, as they will then be able to manufacture the tools and store them with uh, possibly an expanded brain, or maybe just with the basic brain. Honestly, we'll, we'll have to have a, a think about that, because uh, a tier two bot with an expanded brain has eight extra commands, which is quite a lot more. Uh, until hands empty, I would very much like you to dig mushrooms. There we go. And this should be in the terraforming area. Thunk. Select this structure. There we go. And that is all you need to do forever. Super simple little bot there. Enjoy, Kadaj. There we go. Uh, I can go ahead and drop this back down here. Honestly, I shouldn't be carrying her around. There you go. Womp. Right, now, the next bot. Now, you're going to... We're going to want you to be chopping trees. So let's get that one set up right away. And your name is... Oh, Casa has joined us. Hello, Cariad. There we go. Right, Casa, your job is to deforest an area, and literally deforest it, with no hope of replanting it. I mean, maybe another team will come along and replant it, but you don't know that. Your job is literally to strip the land bare of forests. I can only assume that you're not entirely okay with this, but, uh, well, you don't really get a choice. Such such uh, is is your lot in the automated empire. I am terribly sorry to say. Right, let's go and uh, chop down some trees over here. There we go. And donk donk donk. Let's pop that in here. Make sure that you're using the terraforming group. Oops, not using the structure there. There we are. And do that forever. And there we go. Enjoy or or not. You're not going to enjoy. Let's be honest. We both know this. But uh, you have to do it anyway. It needs to be done. And whilst all of this is going on, I'm just going to go ahead and pop down some of these uh, these mushrooms down yonder. I could grab the, uh, the um, berries from in there, but that should be fine. Now, I need to set up the automatic uh, manufacture of blades. Now, these are tools. So, uh, how about I just go ahead and move this one all the way up here. There we go. I could even pop it in there if I really wanted to, and I think that would be fine. There we are. Marvellous. Now, as I was saying, I'm starting to think that maybe we want to automate this in a little bit of a, a larger scale. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and manufacture a... Hmm, perhaps we need to move some of these around a little bit, but... This is effectively what I would like. Uh, I would like some crates around each location. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and then five. We'll move three along and pop that one in there. There we go. That should do nicely. Now, what I would like to do is if I can go ahead and move some of my other manufacturing up like so. One and then you can move up to perfect and then you can move up there we are marvelous and i can pop that one in there as well perfect this gives us a little bit of room around each one i do like having things uh, a little bit more separated so it's a, a little bit more clear um when things need to be made let's pop that up there grab this shovel move that along there we are Lovely. Right, now I need to adjust the under construction zone. Now, hopefully, this will work. We will see if this will work as intended. Now, this shouldn't be a linked area, so I should just be able to go whomp, like so, and agree. Yes, go ahead. And let's activate 
the builders. Now, we were having a little bit of trouble with the builders before. Let's see if you know how to how to work again. Seems that you're, you're off to a good start. Good, good, good. I approve. Let's see if you can grab all of the bits that you need. Uh, I'm also going to go and uh, drop this spade down by there. And that should uh, stop any shenanigans uh, going too far. Let's have a watch if they come up. Yes, they are. They are actually building. Fantastic. Things are working as they were intended to work. Marvellous news. Right, we need a plank and a seed. Two planks over there. So four planks in total. Marvellous. I can carry four planks. Very nice when everything comes together. So we're going to need two poles after that. There we go. Uh, a seed and two poles and a log. All right, I'll grab the seed first. Oh, wait, I've got a stick. Wait, 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 wait. Need to move that stick. There we go. Go grab a seed, grab two poles. And we should be able to get a second Mark II bot ready as well. Now, obviously, we are going to want to automate this one. Uh, we're ultimately going to want to automate all of this. But I think I would like to set up a proper constructing area for that before I get too carried away with this. Uh, storage, definitely, because we are ultimately going to want to store quite a lot of these parts, I would say. There we go. And then we can go grab another... Oh, no. We're making another Frankenstein construction. You're almost correctly built. Unfortunately, you're about to have your bum on your head. <sighs> this is like spore all over again. There we go. I I can only apologize. Uh, right, there we go. We're almost done over here, it seems. We've still got... Uh, oh, you've got all your planks. Good, good, good. We've just got one plank needed over there. And two more planks and four more poles over there. Okay, not too bad. You're actually getting all of that done fairly quickly, I must say. Right, we're going to swap out the bot assembly to build different types of bots. And because I'm a monster, I'm going to take the parts from a different place. Yep, there we go. Now you're headless, though you're still wearing your bum where your head should be. It's not a good time for you. Right, let's get all of these over there. There we go. And we are going to try and set up a bot who not only constructs a tool, but will then store that tool. Uh, and uh, will ultimately stop trying to construct anything once the tool storage is full. I think this should be quite good. But let's start with the blades because we do actually need a new blade after all. So you're going to be joining the toolsmiths. So let's go ahead and just pop both of you in the toolsmiths. And then we can wander over here and then summon you through this interface. It is so much easier to do it this way. So, so much easier. Now, if we can get away without having to expand your brain, I will. Though, if that is the case, then one of our basic tool uh, bots would have been able to do it. But since I actually have uh, designs uh, for them for much more simple tasks, it's fine. We'll just repurpose them. They'll move to a different team. Right. So, who are we dealing with here? Kyra joins the team. Thank you very much for the comment, Kyra. I hope you are going to enjoy your new life as a blade crafter. Now, this one actually only needs two stones. So, it's a super, super simple task. So, let's start off. Uh, we want this to be wrapped in a, well, do forever, first and foremost, and then until this storage is full. Uh, it doesn't know what kind of storage that is yet. Okay, well, that's fine. Let me just go and grab this. Uh, move to storage, take two of these out. Uh, two times? Yeah, so we'll do it two times. Two. That way, we're dealing with very specific amounts, because that's all you're going to need to craft this. I could have you fill your hands, but it's not the the most uh, effective way of doing it. Then move back to the crude workbench. There we go. And at this point, we can have until hands empty. There we are. Just go ahead and drop these off. This will give us a blade, and then we'll pop that blade in the storage. Ah, there we go. It's actually updated the name. That's pretty cool. Right, so, once that is all done, we don't need these. Find the nearest blade in the workbench. Uh, this should be set up. Yes, it is it is set up to the correct area. Marvellous. Move to the blade. Pick up the blade. Move to the blade storage. And drop it in the blade storage. And there we go. That's all I need you to do. 
and I hope you enjoy it. We actually did need an expanded brain. A basic bot would have been able to complete this task because a basic bot with an expanded brain is equivalent to a, a tier two bot without an expanded brain. So uh, we did need that extra four um, kilobytes. We, well, realistically, we only needed one extra kilobyte, but it only goes up in increments of four. Uh, unless there's a, perhaps a, a, a more advanced version of the, of the memory upgrade, in which case it might increase larger. But there we go. Enjoy, Kyra. Okay, so that is being set up, and while that is being set up, let me uh, go ahead and switch the bot assembly back to the basic bots. Eventually we'll have uh, two of these, uh, so that I can have them craft two different types of bots as needed. Right, now that you're doing that, you should be good for me to take that back out. Right, the next one then that we're going to work on is probably the mallet, since that's a, a bit of a, an odd one out, really. It's a bit of, more of a complex one. Oh, this is going grand. I like it. We we are we're running out of components, but uh, I think they're doing a good job so far. Right, so who are we dealing with here? Welcome to the team, Duff Duff. Okay, so you have a, a fairly simple job, all things considered. Actually, how about you just come over to me for now. I am going to... Well, Colty Bear is clearly working on the mallet. So, Colty Bear, could you please stop and walk over to me, please? There we are. I'm going to borrow your brain. There we go. I want to take your brain out. Or rather, take a copy of your brain. Pop it into Duff Duff. Thank you very much, Colty Bear. Right, Duff Duff. Let's have a look. So, we're going to change this up. We now want to check this storage for now. Move to the pole storage. Take from pole storage. Move to the crude workbench. Ah, we could use a backpack here. Ooh. Maybe. It, ultimately, I don't think the backpack will actually save us commands. But it's going to be cool. So I'm going to do it. The rule of cool wins out. Uh, let me go and grab you a backpack then before we get uh, any more involved in this. One, two, three. There we are. Right, bot a backpack. Duff Duff will be the first bot to have their very own backpack. And to be taught how to use a backpack. It's going to be grand. In the next stable version, uh, it's currently in experimental. I'm not running on experimental. I'm running on the stable version as uh, you'd get from Steam at the moment. There we go. Let's just ha uh, pop that in. Oh, that's marvelous. You actually wear the backpack as well. That's absolutely brilliant. But uh, there is a uh, command for shouting and hearing. So the robots can talk to each other. That is good. It's going to honestly break my brain with how much more complicated your commands can be but oh, it's gonna be so good um duff duff do i want to give you any other abilities i could well i could give you all sorts of things um power or, or speed really the only ones that you would need but uh let's go back into duff duff's brain so move to pole storage very well we've got a pole let's let's pretend that we are duff duff right now right so pole storage we want to stow held item there we go. Now, don't do this. Move to log storage, take a log, then move to the crude workbench, add to the crude workbench, then retrieve the held item. And since we're already at the crude workbench, we should be able to just add to the crude workbench. Can I copy this? No, I can't. I can't paste. That is, that is most unfortunate. <laughs> there we go. We'll just add to crude workbench. There we go. So that will give you everything you need right there. And then at that point, I would like you to go ahead. Ooh. Now, this is the thing. I really should make it so that you can pick up more than one item. Even though you're only ever making one item at a time, I should make it so that you could uh, conceivably pick up more than one. But should I? I mean, we've got enough room. Until hands fall. Sure. Um, no. Actually, I don't believe we can carry more than one. No, we can only carry one. I could stow it, but let's not overcomplicate things. So move to the nearest mallet, pick it up. We've got three kilobytes left. Go ahead and drop this off then. Womp. There we go. And that's all you need to do. Just keep doing that forever. That is exactly the size of your brain. We almost needed an expanded brain upgrade for you, but uh, should be good. 
Okay then, Duff Duff. Crack on. And let's have a watch of how this goes. Uh, ooh, let me quickly cancel that poll. There we are. So that it doesn't complicate matters for you. Right. Have you got a poll in your backpack? Can I have a look? You do. Ah, oh, glorious times. Let's have a look at what's happening. Can you carry two things in your backpack automatically? Wait a second. Have you got a better backpack than me by default? Wow, that's just unfair. Right, okay, that's right. You're making the tool. You're going to pick up the tool. You're going to stow the tool, hopefully, and then you're going to carry on. Carrying on. There we are. Marvellous, I must say. Truly marvellous. Okay, Colty Bear. Thank you very much for your dedicated service, but you are now joining a different team. We're going to be moving you into the Terraformers team. And, along with that, we're going to teach you how to cut grass. Ah, oh, that's great. Uh, ooh, are you holding something right now? No, you're not. Okay, good. Uh, it was a little bit unclear there. Right then, Culty Bear. What I would like you to do is, when you don't have a uh, blade, go pick one up. I would then like you to, until hands are empty, go and size... Oh, wait, I'm... I'm holding a pop. My, my bad. My, my bad. Let me let me fix that. There we go. Ah, uh, perfect. Right now with this blade, we should be able to just go inside any grass. There we go. It takes a little while actually. I may need multiple bots for these jobs that take a long time to to complete. Let's select the terraforming area. There you go. And just do that one forever. Oh, actually no. We want you to go and grab a blade whenever you don't already have one. But otherwise, go ahead. Enjoy, Culty Bear. There we go. Our Terraformer group is getting quite uh, quite advanced, I must say. There we are. And let's just go ahead and... Oh, is that already full? That would explain it then. Uh, well, we're almost certainly going to want more... more uh, Mark two bots in time. We'll get there. All right, let me grab you. Now, is there anything else I would really like you to be able to do that we can already, or that we've already taught? There isn't. Okay, sorry, I didn't realize that we were going to re be repurposing Culty Bear already. You're just going to have to sit here until I have a need for you. Don't worry, I'm sure it will be fairly quick. Right, okay, so with that, our Terraformer group can now do everything they need to do. Ah. But, 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 what is the problem there, Henrik? Why are you not finding a spade? Oh, right, I need to, uh... Ah, uh, because you can use a spade twice, it can break. So, I'm going to activate this. Now, normally, uh, any tool has at least one use. And since usually the until hands empty um, block that I create only has one use of the tool, I've not had to account for the eventuality where the tool breaks midway through the block, but then later down the line, it tries to use the same tool again, but now you don't have the tool, so it just jams the, the logic. We have to have that escape clause for Henrik specifically because of this second use of the, of the spade. That's fine though. Crack on then, Her Henrik. We should have this whole place cleared up very, very soon. And I am remarkably happy about this. Uh, how uh, Colonist World's going? Ah, uh, well, we need some builders. I need, uh, oh, well, actually, you know what? I've got a job for you, as yet unnamed bot, who is now going to have a name, and it is Grant. Marvellous. In life, you did not have a name, Grant, but in de in auto um, are you dead when you're a robot? If we uploaded your consciousness from a human body into a robot, would you be considered dead? I mean, you're no longer technically alive by the requirements that we use presently to classify life. Which, honestly, is probably a flaw on our parts. We're just not thinking outside the box enough. Grant, no, no, what? Yeah, you're definitely still alive, Grant. Don't worry. You're just, yep, you've got a better life now. The purity of steel has freed you from the weakness of the flesh. We need you, however, to really, really pay attention to our little uh, homes over here because they are very broken. Uh, right, okay. Oh, no. Well. Hang tight, Grant. Let me uh, drop off this log in there, and then, oh, okay, let me drop this, can I grab another log, there we go, 
I need you to grab a log. Ah, oh, damn it. Stop stealing my logs. They're all waiting here. Like a vultures waiting for my logs. Aha! A log. Got it. Wait, did that not work? Mm, I don't think it did. Let me get rid of all of this erroneous stuff there. Pump. Right. Pump. There we go. That's what we needed. Perfect. Right. Okay. With this in hand, um, I, I guess there really isn't a, a, an additional loop here. I just want you to do this forever. Uh, keep looking over here for any houses that need to be rebuilt. There we are. Move to Crude Hut and fix it for me. It's going to be grand. Eventually, I'm going to need a sign for this area, though. There we go. Add to Crude Hut, and that is really all you need to do. I will make this a little bit smaller, though, because there's no need for it to be that large. Uh, there we go. For the time being, eventually this is going to very much break, and it's probably going to break reasonably soon. But there we go. Enjoy, Grant. And you are now going to join the I Am Mother group. There we are. Now, someone did actually point out a few uh, a few points to me with the way that we feed our colonists. And that is that the colonist state is actually recognized by the bot. Previously, I believe I have given our people a... Uh, sorry, our uh, robots command to feed colonists who are not hungry. Their state was, they had been fed recently and they had not depleted their, their hunger bar yet. And there is a difference between a hungry colonist and a colonist who just can be fed. And I need to be, uh, I need to pay very close attention to that. But uh, at this stage, uh, why are there no more spades being made? Are you not going to pick that up? You do appear to have one, Henrik. So what's happening now? Hmm. You've picked up a spade, Henrik. I feel that you shouldn't be stuck there. I mean, there's one way that I can fix that. I can put that all inside a uh, until hands full clause. Sure, and I'll allow it to break at any time. Uh, go ahead and keep going, I suppose. It seems that Henrik, though, can't find a hole to, to fill. Hmm. That shouldn't be the case. Let's have a quick look at you. De more debugging of Henrik, it seems. What's up, Henrik? Oh, you're finding a tree stump. Ah, right. Okay, this makes a lot more sense. There are no more tree stumps available for you to dig. All right. Okay. Um, well, in the case that there are no more tree stumps to dig, I do still want you to, to fill in any potential holes. Perhaps what I need to do is actually set this up in a different way. Until hands are empty, find nearest hole, and we'll have these as two separate commands. Keep uh, digging up all the tree stumps, then fill in all of the holes. So you'll do all the tree stumps first, then you'll do all of the holes. And then, if your hands, uh, if you don't have anything in your hands, you'll go and fill them. That actually makes a lot more sense. I, um, we shouldn't now need to break this. But we will, just in case, because there's there's no guarantee. Well, no. Let, let's go with this. Let's, let's, let's just test the, the theory. We shouldn't need a breakout clause if the use of the spade is separate. Ah, but wait, there we go. Straight away, we've uh, bumped into the problem. And that is, there are no tree stumps for Henrik to find. Okay, fair enough. Thank you very much for educating me, Henrik. You are teaching me. Every day is a school day. All right, there we go. So that's uh, all sorted. However, one of the problems, uh, as you can probably already tell, is that Henrik is specifically going to the output of this workbench to grab a spade rather than to the storage areas. And that is something that we're going to need to fix. And yes, I know, I'm going to reactivate our, our um, forestry soon. Very, very soon. Uh, though before then, I am actually going to want a new sign. So two planks and one pole. Uh, I'll grab the pole first so that I can store it in my inventory. There we go, and two planks, and we're going to get a forestry sign. And there we go. Now, eventually, we'll be able to make billboards and have a gigantic signs. 
But for now, this should do. Uh, we are going to want this sign to say... Let's see. Forestry. Nice and simple. Uh, this shouldn't be a uh, linked area, I don't think. Well, actually, no. I think it should be linked in this particular case. Let's slide this up. There we go. Perfect. This whole area is now a forestry, and we'll just leave that one there. That is perfect. Now, eventually, this might want to be a, forest, uh, a different numbered forestry. So let's uh, let's plan forward. Forestry, zero, zero. Because, okay, I don't think we're ever going to have more than than 100, or more than 99 forestries. If we do, then I've done something very, very wrong. Uh, but that should be good enough. Now, Henrik, I'm noticing that this hole is not being dug. What is happening by nearest hole? Hmm, in where? Where are you looking? Have a quick gander. Uh, you should be using this, so that hole should be uh, considered. Oh, perhaps. Perhaps that hole has been marked, has been claimed by another bot. It's possible that, that is the case. If uh, one of our bots was attempting to plant uh, a seed, because of the way they reserve... Um, because of the way they reserve any any uh, anything they're going to work on. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I shouldn't be carrying around the forest sign down. Uh, because of the way that they reserve. Ah, oh, me. This is why you don't want them to be linked. Uh, let me just slide that back up. And then I will finally finish explaining what I was about to explain. But because of the way that they seem to reserve any object they're about to interact with, and that's why they don't all fight for the same spade. Uh, three people might be looking for a spade, but the first one to decide, oh, I'm going to go pick up that spade that just became available, the others don't bother. It's because they're literally saying, right, this is, this is now reserved for me to act upon, so no one else touch it. That may have been the case here. I don't know if stopping the, the program would have freed up the reservation on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in myself. It's fine. It's fine. I can't expect my robots to do all of it. Well, I can. That's the whole point of the game. But still, I, I'm not going to be one of those people that, that balks at the idea of, of pitching in a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So this whole area is now properly dealt with. I'm very, very happy. Uh, terraformers, I would say then, and that's uh, your job done. Well done. Let's get you all down here for now, please. Go ahead, move on over. Oh, no, wait, I started you. That wasn't what I meant to do. I meant to pull you all down. There you go. All hang out down there. Now, we can clean this place up a little bit. We'll do that, no doubt. But uh, for now, I just want to grab these out of the way because they are dangerous. I am quite likely to fill in some soil that I don't need to fill in if these are left where they were. There we go. So I'm just going to use them up quickly and fill those parts in. There we go. Right, at this point, now we may go ahead and fill in some soil around here for the time being. I don't know yet. Uh, we may want to, to wait on that one. Uh, I will grab two blades and get uh, this research going. I really should have gotten that going a little while ago. There we are. And another one. Have you just... Why are there not more? Oh, wait. Aha! Aha! Yes. I, uh... Hmm. I should have probably paid attention to that, I guess. Have I not already put a blade there? Oh, I have. My bad. They just don't have any wolf. Because, yeah... You probably just haven't been getting any food. My bad. Um, okay, well, it's time for us to get forestry back up and running then, I guess. Um, I do want to restrict this area so that you don't end up planting in the wrong space. So let me quickly sort that out. You know, it suddenly occurred to me, I was doing all of this work, but I actually want to teach my bots how to do this job. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. We need one more bot then in that case and uh, honestly we're going to need another one of our, our toolsmiths moved from their present job so i'm just going to grab one preemptively uh dear pug let's have you come join me over here unfortunately i've got a big uh, group of bots there that need to have uh, their their commands changed over uh pop over here for a moment please you're going to be joining the terraformers group and your job is specifically going to be 
working on returfing an area that I've designated. So terraforming in progress. Let's adjust this one into a new area, a much smaller area. There we go. Now, how big do we want this? Uh, I wanted one more. Well, actually, sure, this should be okay. So, can have that one backed up there. Yeah, I guess I could take one more, one more space up, or even two more, just to give us a little bit of room. But I, I don't think we will. I think this should be more than uh, good enough. Um, actually, no, that's a lie. I do want it that big. There we go. Right. So. The terraforming area has been set. I can plant that down. And, dear Pug, are you carrying anything? Excellent. Then what I would like you to do is grab turf until your hands are full. There we go. Or until you can't grab any more. And then go and find a spot that needs to be turfed within this area, in the terraforming area. There we go. Now I'm gonna have to make sure that I prevent Deer Pug from being active if I don't want an area to be turfed. This, I'm gonna have to be very, very careful of deactivating our diggers and activating our turfers at, at different times, depending on, on what's gonna be needed. So this is gonna involve a little bit more micromanaging of the, of the terraformer group. Um, and to that end, um, Turfa, I'm going to put in brackets what your job is, otherwise I am going to forget. Uh, let's have square brackets up because they look nicer, let's be honest. There we are. Uh, right. Oh, or I could just have turf. Turf and soil. Uh, that makes it nice and, and simple for us to uh, work out what's going on. And with that, until hands empty or until you no longer see anything to be turfed, you can crack on. Okay. Begin. There you go. Well, that is going to be so much easier. And to that end, then, you're currently digging turf. So, Aqua Tami, I would like you to have soil in your name. There we go. So, you'll reduce an area to soil. Perfect. And Casa. <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry forest it's it's what you do all right it is going to be a thing that you do uh chilling with chuck um you're actually here to gather turf ah there we're gonna start running into some problems that's a shame i was really really hopeful that, that wouldn't be an issue because you've got such a nice long text deal here but alas i guess it isn't too much of a problem to be able to see all of that but there we go so we're going to turf over this little area just so that we don't end up in a situation where any of our forestry bots tried to plant where they shouldn't and with that we should be good to uh place these back in the right spots just as soon as you are done placing that last little bit there there we are perfect plonk and there we go Ah, oh, this is grand. So we're going to have a uh, nice little, little area kept by, ready for you. Uh, we can tell the, the terraformers to completely shut down now. And heading over here. I did just tell them to start, which was very silly of me, but there we go. Right, that is perfect. So we can now activate our forestry bots once again. And I'm actually thinking of pulling our haulers into the forestry team. Uh to that end ashley what are you doing you're digging uh you know what i'm i don't think we need to necessarily worry about the uh setup of the the forester team uh with with names but what we do need to do is make sure that their current um their current search area is based on the forestry zone so there we go and this one as well just make sure that is all Ooh, did that automatically update oh no wait we need to uh grab from the storage here ah, that is unfortunate okay it looks like i've got a little bit more work before we can activate the foresters again but at the very least i should be able to seed each of these boxes yes i should be able to seed each box with its correct tool and that way i can target the tool 
There we go. There we are. That should allow me to get all of the uh, Forester's Brains set up correctly. But you'll notice that the moment I decided to go and pick up the, the shovel, our bot immediately recognized that it no longer had uh, a full output and started to go and grab things, even though the shovel hadn't yet been moved. And again, that that's the whole... Um, why are you not able... Oh, right. It's a very different uh, command now, I suppose. That does make sense, actually. But uh, the, the whole reservation system, uh, that does keep the game from getting very, very confused. Right, we shouldn't need uh, anything here, I guess, and, until the soil might be empty. I, I suppose I could wrap this up in a, until hands full. Go ahead and, and grab a, uh, a spade. That should be fine. Crack on then, Ashley. You can be turned back on. Hyarden, you're currently trying to find tree seeds and to stow them. This should actually be fine. By and large, this should be... Oh, no, you are not drawing from this, this box. Okay, then we do need to adjust this then. Let's uh, have you go and grab tree seeds. Uh, oops, 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 oops. Before we do that, I need to drop these shovels off. What? No, 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 stop. Ah, no. My lord, I'm trying to sabotage my own plans. Look at all of these. <laughs> what, the a, what do you want me to learn? I don't understand. This is why we took over. You humans are dumb. Uh, I mean, you know, you're not wrong. All right, there we go. Move to seed storage. I would like you to pick up as many seeds as you possibly can. Until hands full, or until we run out of seeds, there we go. And then until your hands are empty, go ahead and find the nearest hole and place a seed in it. There we go, that should work. That's actually a little bit of an upgrade as well. Uh, should we run out of holes, or should we run out of seeds, then you can go ahead and uh, break out of that one. There you go, Hyarden, enjoy. Now, and speak a blare. We need to adjust your brain just the tiniest bit. Uh, until stick storage is full, that's fine, that's correct, that is still correct. However, we need to, once again, make sure that you're looking in the forestry zone for these. There we go. Select structure, forestry zone only. There we go. Uh, find wooden mallet. Now, we don't actually want this one. We want to take this all out of there, if we can. Uh, let me go ahead and pop that in there. You don't need to put seeds. Don't don't worry about it. I just need you to go and grab a wooden mallet when you get the chance to. There we go. And then I'll pop that back straight away. All right, there we go. Let's get these out of the way. Dunk, dunk. And repeat until hands are empty. Now, we've got enough, so I may as well just have this one in there. There we are. Perfect. Uh, we aren't going to have a breakout clause here because I don't really think we need it. Um, likewise, we don't need a breakout clause here. Realistically, no, I may as well not add it in there. There we go. Enjoy the unspeakable. You should be good. Right. And uh, finally, Vanya. Let's get you set up as well. Until log storage is full, that's perfectly fine. Don't bother chopping down the trees if there's nowhere to put it. Uh, I would like you to find the nearest tree, but it needs to be in the forestry zone. And then, should you not already have a crude axe, then I would like you to go and collect one from over here. There we go. And we are going to want you to do that one until your hands are full. There we are. Enjoy. Now, this should prevent them in the instance that they are already holding a tool and for some reason the logic has uh, failed and they've decided to, to wander off and uh, grab something they shouldn't, then that should sort that out. Wait a second. Why is Ashley... Where is Ashley looking right now? Let me just double check this. Because that zone seems wrong. Where are you looking, Ashley? Select structure. There we go. That's a bit better. There we are. Sorry about that, Ashley. You can crack on once again. Now, if I select this, we should only be seeing the forestry zones. Perfect. I am very, very happy with that. Okay, and next up then, Apple Fumble. You're currently looking... Uh, you're currently hauling 
for the forestry team. So I'm going to move Apple Fumble up into the forestry team. Uh, you're allowed to, to break out of this from now on. Uh, I would like you to look for log in the forestry area. There we go. And then go grab it and pop it in log storage. That's all you need to do forever. Enjoy. Uh, Ika, you're fine, Big Al. You're fine. Bubbles, uh, you should be in this group, definitely. So let's uh, stop that one there. Uh, this should be pointing to the correct area. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. It, there was a little uh, arrow over it. If you hover over, you can see the little arrow pointing to the uh, correct area. Until hands fall, I would like you to grab any item from the forestry area, move to the stick storage, and until hands empty, and load. There you go, Bubbles. You can move up into this group as well. And Lady Wolfheart. Let's uh, get you set up as well. So I would like you to look for seeds, uh, tree seeds, not sea trees. There we are. And you should be fine. That's the correct storage. Okay. And crack on. There we are. Marvellous. Let's move you up into the forestry group as well. That should take care of the entire forestry operation. Apple Fumble can't find any logs right now, which is... Oh, no, sorry. Apple Fumble is probably out of charge. There we go. Apple Fumble is now cracking on once again. We'll probably upgrade all of our basic bots with either extended charge or some uh, speed boost. But having this little area to restrict that area from getting over full is pretty cool in my humble opinion. Uh, we could expand up the storage a little bit if I really wanted to. Um, I think expanding out the, the um, log storage at the very least is definitely worth our time. So under construction sign, I would like to work with you. Let's move these signs away from that area, but uh, for now, just move the under construction area down there. Thank you. And I'm going to go pop that sign down here. There we are. Actually, let me uh, line that up properly. And then we're going to move the terraforming sign down here as well. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's space these out a little bit better, though. There we are. Right. So we should get an expanded storage for our logs as well. And there we go. It's taken me a little bit of time to get that fully set up. But uh, now that I've done that once on screen and, and th that sort of thing, we're probably going to be uh, skipping over that in future episodes. But I do like to showcase the first time that I work on anything like that, um, generally speaking. Uh, not always going to be the case, but uh, certainly for now. All right, hopefully we're going to be able to get uh, our research going back up again and now that uh, we're actually generating logs where is that chicken i know you're here somewhere i want to move you elsewhere so you stop laying eggs all over this area not that i don't appreciate the eggs but let, let's pop you over here with other animals and then then we can clear up this place and eventually it will just be logs it'll be so great uh, I, indeed i could actually turf all of the areas between the trees but there is also plans to bring in a selection on how your your bots search for anything with the find in area so you can have even coordinates you can have every coordinate you can have vertical rows horizontal rows that isn't yet in uh, that's planned changes it's not even in the uh, experimental build just yet but that one will be a pretty awesome addition i think and would allow us to have much much more densely packed areas not that we would really want them here because for an item to be generated it needs a space for the generated item to to go so you wouldn't want to have uh, for example an intensely uh, dense area of uh, berry bushes because you'd never get any berries out of them from that point on and obviously that's uh, kind of against the point Right, let's grab all of these. Perhaps if I expanded out our stick and seed storage, but I really don't think we, we need that. Honestly, I think we're, we're good as is. In fact, we're, we're way uh, over full as uh, the case is really. Uh, I guess that makes sense. We couldn't store any more logs there because we, uh, we were upgrading the log storage itself. And so it couldn't be used. That was a bit of an unfortunate situation, but uh, okay. All right. I probably want to adjust the uh, patrol route for our bots a little bit as well, I would say. Uh, okay. 
Well, if I drew them out to about here, that might be fine for now. So I would like to climb in Malachi's brain. Where are you up to right now? Uh, so it's probably the last one, 263170, that I need to adjust. Is someone going to charge? Oh, sorry. I, I whistled so everyone stopped doing what they were doing. My bad. Let's get Malachi. There we go. Malachi. Ah, damn it. Ah, Malachi, please stop. There we go. I, I want to adjust your brain, Malachi. I, I would like you to move here. Stop. There. Donk. 276170. So instead of 263, we'll have 276170. And then. Uh, that's 172, so 263185 we need to replace. Uh, so one draw all the way down. And there we go. Perfect. So I'll pop that one up there. And then you are free to continue, and you will now be able to charge up a couple of bots in this area. Okay, so things are slowly getting back to right. Uh, I do need to check on our... Uh, latest I am mother Grant what's up Grant oh you're not active well my bad I do apologize let's uh, get you going back over there uh, in fairness I did actually disable a lot of bots in order to get in there and uh, get things going so uh, my bad let's uh, pop these back down so that they can actually get back to work sorry Grant that was entirely my fault I had to move everyone individually so I could uh, lay down the turf. There we are. Let's move you out. Duff Duff, you're back on the job. And we've also got Alacramps. And as I, Oh, Azai is active. Are you? No. Uh, Rui, let's get you down. Ah, of course, it's because I had uh, Alacramps' brain open. There we go. Rui's back on the job. There we are. Slowly but surely, we should be getting things uh, back in motion. Now, what I'm thinking I may need is extra haulers for the logs, because we are getting through these at a startling rate right now. Uh, we may actually want uh, two lumberjacks and two diggers. Because presently we are just having the bots uh, dig at whatever speed they can. They're not going to use up all of this space. They're just not going to be uh, doing the work fast enough to get all of that done. So we may need to have a couple more bots working in this forestry area. That being said, giving them extra speed boost may help with that. So yeah, we could definitely look into that. But I think the last thing that we're going to do before I wrap up this episode, because I would like to get a little bit more progress done, is to have all of our toolsmiths set up. So I'm going to need, uh, well, we've got two bots right now. Yeah, Duff Duff, you're working on this one for us. You're our mallet toolsmith. So we are going to want another three tier two robots. Right. Be right back. Oh, it seems that we have finished our farming technology. Crude arable farming tools. We've got the crude shears. We've got the crude flail, ideal for thrashing cereal to get straw and grain, or for the beating of bushes to release fruit. And the crude hole, as well as the crude scythe. Marvellous. Well, I wasn't uh, quite prepared to bring you back uh, just yet, but I suppose we're going to anyway. Uh, next up, um, we need to get Miona's brain. There we go. And uh, we're going to pop that one over here. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a current builder over here. Here. Oh, we're gonna have so many more tools. Oh no, <laughs> so many more new tools. We will be getting to them in time, I promise you. But uh, Zechrist and Miona, I need you to leave the toolsmiths. So let's uh, pop you down there. There we go. We will have. Well, actually, I suppose I should uh, empty out your brains for now. Uh, and Zechrist as well. Let's get you emptied out. But to introduce you to our newest bot, we have Jalen Wolf, Megan, and Knight. Now, Knight is currently set up to handle the pickaxes. Uh, let's have a quick look. 
Until which crude workbench? Let's have a quick gander at you. Yes, it is the pickaxe one. Well, we want this one to be the pickaxe storage instead. Move to stone storage, take from stone storage, crude workbench too. Now, I should get you all backpacks as well, shouldn't I? I really should. It's super, super useful to be able to use those. You don't need it because you're only dealing with one thing. Uh, we're going to need three planks and a pole. So let's go ahead and grab these. And we will get everyone set up to have their own backpacks. Ah, oh, it's going to be grand. Truly, it will be. And there we go. We now have Knight, Jalen Wolf, and Megan all helping out. Megan is working on the uh, the space. Is it Megan or Megan? I'm, I'm going to go with Megan just because of the spelling, but I could be very, very wrong. Uh, we've also got Knight working on the pickaxes and Jalen Wolf currently working on making the hatchets. So there we go. All of our tools are being made and stored. So we're going to have a stockpile of tools available at any particular time, which is really rather good. And our bots are getting down to business over here with the uh, the forestry area. Now, we do need to improve this. I think giving them a speed upgrade would help out with that. Or perhaps given that they're not actually having to travel that far, maybe that wouldn't help. Maybe just getting it so that they don't have to power down as often would be a, a bigger help but we are definitely going to need to expand this out with a few more bots working in forestry and perhaps that is where we're going to be moving Zchrist and Miona. I, I think that would be kind of nice so that they don't have to feel too terribly bad uh, about not having anywhere to work definitely our seed planting is not a is not a bottleneck we can easily keep up I think the diggers and the choppers are the ones that we're going to need so you know what what we're going to do then is quickly apple fumble you're currently uh, stashing logs we've got you are presently digging ashley so you are definitely one that we're going to want to uh, nab the brain off let's see about uh quickly actually can i grab your brain while you can i no i've got to wait for you to be charged Ah, that's only fair. I guess it would be rather rude if I just stole your brain whilst you were uh, in the most vulnerable of moments. Let's wait for you to be charged. If indeed Interferes has enough charge now. <laughs> Interferes, why? Okay, fine. I'll charge you, Interferes. You can finish charging Ashley. And then I can stop Ashley and steal your brain. There we go. Oh, I've got to wait for you to finish digging. Uh, Hawker, Interferes didn't need a recharge. I finished doing it. Oh, my lord. Nothing is ever easy. It really is. Right. I want to take your brain. Thank you. And I want to now give it to Z Chris. Let's quickly give Z Chris a new brain. There you go, Z Chris. Then you can crack on with some work. There we are. You are now going to be active. Go ahead. We'll pop you up here along with Ashley. Carry on doing your jobs. Now, Z Chris, hopefully you aren't carrying anything around, are you? I don't believe you are, no. Right, and next up, Bubbles is currently finding sticks. Lady Wolfhard is currently finding seeds. Kiarden is planting seeds. Kiarden, you don't need any help. And speak of that, you don't need any help either. You can easily generate enough seeds and sticks to keep everyone going forever. Vanya, we need to steal your brain, I'm afraid. Let's go. Um, don't worry, don't worry. You, can, you can keep it. We're copying your brain. It, it's basically, you know, it, it, it's, it's, I mean, you could make the analogy with piracy. I'd rather you didn't, but it could be done, you know. Oh, we're, we're downloading a brain. We're not really stealing it because you've still got it. But, eh, that's, that's a, that's a whole can of worms. And I can imagine it's only a bigger concern if your entire empire is actually made of robots. I imagine they feel that debate especially keenly. All right, let's go and uh, upload your brain into Miona. There you go, Miona. Let's get you onto the forester team and start you up. Enjoy. Truly, I hope you will. There we go. We should be able to generate a couple more logs a little bit faster this way. Uh, yeah, you're doing all right. And now that we've got more diggers, oh, look at that. Fantabulous. Kiarden, you need a recharge. You know what? I'm going to help you out. I mean, let me get you recharged so you can get to work a little bit faster. There you go. You go ahead. We've got plenty of places for you to plant your seeds. And we've got our diggers are doing a pretty good job down there as well. Ah, oh, marvellous. Are you going to stop Kiarden? No. You're like, oh, wait a minute. I was told to charge someone over here. And they scarpered. 
Oh, scallywags? I know, right? But that's going to be it for today. A bit of a, a long one, but we finally got forestry up and running. And in a state that I'm pretty happy with. It's going to be expandable. We can just add more bots as needed. I don't think that we're going to be using different bots for forestry. Because uh, generally speaking, I don't think there is uh, any particular need to have uh, significantly upgraded bots. And Speaker Blair a little bit. Because and Speaker Blair has to check multiple things to decide whether or not to use the... the um, the mallet but as we can see just a basic brain upgrade was enough there we don't need to to really worry about it um and it's not like unspeaker blend needs to move around very much they can just stand in and wallop the same tree for a long time so uh, i don't think a speed upgrade is necessary so i'm, I'm pretty happy with unspeaker blend just having a uh, a brain upgrade but the others maybe will get you power upgrades maybe will get you speed upgrades depending on the situation i'm very happy to have all the tools being manufactured and stored up to a maximum which uh, will help us out in the long run and all of our all of our humans now have proper rooms i'm i'm super happy about that one as well but this does need to be improved and i think uh, in the next episode we're going to be focusing on getting all of the new robot components automated and probably designing a new area for our colonists but that's going to be it for this episode i really do hope you've enjoyed and hope you will be joining me for the next but until then and as always with a final shot of our automated empire do take care everyone